11 connecting potential donors to recipients. That's the idea behind a website sponsored by the Northeast Kidney Foundation. New San ABC's Rachel Young Kunis joins us in the studio to explain how the Albany Kidney Connection is bringing people together to help save lives. And Rachel, I'm curious, can anyone get involved in this? That's right, anyone can get involved, Mark. The way it works is people share their personal story online, and if someone is compelled by that, they can get tested and see if they are a match. Now, one local woman has been on the transplant waiting list for two years. She tells me this new website could literally change her life. It seems as if Lisa Robinson Parker lives a normal life, but for the past 25 years, she's been living with kidney disease. And she tells me a couple of years ago, things changed drastically. Things were going downhill fast, so I had to go on and start doing dialysis and going in for surgeries. Now she has to live her life around a machine. You have to be hooked up by a certain time of the day so that I could be done by a certain time in the morning. But she also has a family to take care of. Her 17-year-old daughter was born with cerebral palsy and her husband is disabled from a brain aneurysm. A new kidney is her only hope to finally unhook from the machine. I did not know what I was going to do. Until she met Kara LaFleur. She works for the Kidney Foundation and they recently launched a new program called Kidney Connection. It allows people who need a kidney to share their personal story with others and hope someone will step forward and be a match. I think how aggravated we get waiting in the grocery line, waiting Waiting in heavy traffic. So imagine if you are some someone that needs a life-saving transplant and every day that goes by and you're waiting and waiting and waiting for that for that gift of life. Parker says she has the support of friends and family, but a stranger support might just be the final piece. Well, they're sacrificing their their life and family to save someone else's life. So I mean I would be dedicated to them for life. Now, Parker tells me she would not have been brave enough to put her story out there if it weren't for her family support. And LaFleur says some donors have already stepped forward. If you want to learn more about the program, I've provided a link to their website on News10.com. Inside the studio, I'm Rachel Yankunas, News10 ABC. We wish her well. Thank